Okay, a quick update from my last video, which was the Throne of Eldraine collector's booster packs that I opened. Someone pointed out in that video that I did not actually go through this last pack right here because my computer malfunctioned in the middle and I had to scramble to get my phone to be a camera. So I'm going to go through that one right now and I'm going to try to uh, do what I normally do, which is scan up all the prices. Um, so let's take a look at my last one here and see if I got anything above and beyond. I'm trying not to look at what was in the bottom of that stack. So here we go. Lonesome Unicorn, Lockthwain Paladin, Silver Flame Squire, Vantress Paladin. These are all commons and uncommons. Foil, they're really nice. Alternate Shepherd of the Flock in foil. Very nice there. Mystical Dispute, Once in Future. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Uh, tragic as usual on this channel. All right, I got an Embereth Shieldbreaker, Reaper of Night, Garen Brig Carver, all in alternate um, storybook frame. Got a Bramble Fort Fink, kind of nice. It's from a Planeswalker deck, I guess. Yeah, the Oko Planeswalker deck. What did I get? There is an alternate, I'm sorry, extended border. It's so hard to remember all of the little ins and outs. Extended border once and upon a time, non foil. Still pretty nice. I think um, that's somewhat desirable. I do have a foil. Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig, um, extended art. And as someone had noted before, these loose packs from Amazon, the blister pack retail style, had, for me, yielded a quite uh, large amount of these foil extended arts. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. So I'm going to try to scan this all up and see price-wise where I'm at at this point. Um, let's do that now. All right, time to see how I did with these packs. Uh, I've got a nice stack of storybook alternate frame commons and uncommons that I'm not really going to scan. They're nice. Uh, they might add up for a little bit. Um, but I'm not going to really include those. Same thing for this very big stack of foil, commons and uncommons, just regular um, borders and things like that. So really just going to concentrate on these few things. Well, it's not a few. It's actually a pretty good haul. A um, couple of regular cards that came from the Brawl decks. Let's see how those end up. Book 96 for a Command Tower and the Arcane Signet. 1190 very good so let's kind of put these out here so um the non-foil section here first let's go we've got a murderous rider in alternate frame very nice 12. giant killer there we go giant killer was a whole 99 cents so love struck beast there we go, a couple bucks, but I only got one of them. There we go. Okay, so the standard rares that I got here were March of the Valiant. Still pretty good. Thorn Mammoth. Oko's Hospitality. In the Planeswalker deck. Kenrith the Return King. Pretty decent mythic, right? Yeah, 15 bucks right there. Um, I don't know. We'll put him there. Shimmer Dragon. That's wow, that's pretty good. 950 for that one. So that's a winner. And Chu Lane from the Brawl deck. Another great mythic to pull just in standard uh, non foil. Rowan, Fearless Spark Mage from the Planeswalker deck. He is maybe just a little bit. Let's see here. Can you see it? Three bucks there. Okay, now these are my uh, extended art. Uh regular non foils it's it's a lot to keep track of all these different styles so you got a once upon a time 27 bucks just for the regular one that's a winner the royal scions 22 wow those would be really nice in foil right circle of loyalty 16 this is all tcg mid price so definitely a little higher than reality when you go to sell these but I'm counting it as a win. Wildborn Preserver. It would be nice if it would just scan. 
there. Cut down that glare. Nine bucks there. Wicked Wolf. That one's good. Vantress Gargoyle. These are all very nice. And adding up to hopefully at least what I paid for the 12 packs. Castle Emberith. Wicked Wolf. The Man, the Myth, the Huntsman, Garrick. 21. Put him in this pile. Ember Cleave. 18. So these box topper style, even if they're not foil, are still uh, pretty decent just on their own. So that's great. So I'm going to switch to foil entry for the next set. Okay. Um, just got a couple of uncommons here that I thought were worth pulling as foil. I got a drown in the lock. And can I get my scanner to see it? Nope. There we go. Drown in the lock is a foil, seven bucks. Deafening silence. Yeah, that's good. And a regular foil once upon a time. 23. Very good. Love struck beast. Just a buck 49. Yep, it's just a regular foil. So that may or may not be accurate. I don't know. It seems like it should be more. A couple bucks for Castle Ardenvale and an Osworn Knight is 92 cents in regular foil. There we go. So now I've got a stack of foil storybook um, cards. A lot of these are common and uncommons. Um, let's see how they go. That's a buck ninety. That's decent. Four bucks there. Shepherd of the Flock. Yeah. First off, it doesn't like foils, the scanner. Second off, it's having difficulty with the alternate heart, I think, but it's getting there. Lonesome Unicorn. These are all like a buck. Another merchant. Curious Pair. Rimrock Knight. Animating Fairy. Can I just see it? There we go. They're all adding up. There's quite a few of them. Tree folk. Order of Midnight. Five bucks there. So alternate love struck beast. Storybook alternate. It's only five bucks, huh? And a giant killer. <laughs> It needs less light or something. I don't know. Okay. So that was all the uh, storybook border foils. And they added up quite a bit. Now for the big pile here is all of the extended border foils. Let's see how that goes. Folio of Fancies. 20 bucks. Stolen by the Fae. It's so hard for it to see it in the light there. 18 there. Robber of the Rich. 61.37. That's quite a mythic right there. To Torbrand, Thane of Redfell. 45. A Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig. Comes in at 19. And Rankle, Master of Pranks. Should be pretty nice. 93, 92. That's quite a haul. Um, 
had a lot of fun going through this, even with my technical difficulties. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, make sure to like and comment down below. Uh, I may try this again. The uh, the loose packs from Amazon, uh, from what people are telling me, turned out with a better yield than uh, um, like an actual collector's box. So might be worth an experiment. And so check back with me again sometime in the future and uh, see if I got another 12 packs to go through. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for stopping by. Tra Tragic MTG. See you later.